That looks good. Alright, just gotta wait for Twitch to pick up. There we go. Looks good. So, I think everything's good. Uh, so yeah, welcome to Code Channel. I'm Code, and we're playing more Bloodborne. Uh, so let me think. Where were we? Um, last stream, which was last Friday, um, we got a crazy invite to a crazy castle, and then we fought the Ice King on top of the castle, and then, of course, this was like after like three hours of wandering around in the forest, so it was. <laughs> there was that, there was that. I was lost in the forest for a while. And then I joined my first convent thing, which... Then I immediately joined another convent thing. And I'm pretty sure everybody's dead. <laughs> so that's kind of what happened. Um, I got a few new weapons, I got a few new things, which is pretty cool. Uh, in particular, I got... Uh, this, like, uh, rapier thing, which is pretty cool, which becomes like a cutlass. Actually, it specifically becomes like a gunblade cutlass, which is pretty cool, because you can shoot it like a gun. And also got this katana thing, which is pretty cool. I kind of like it a lot. It's I won't use the second mode, because it makes me slowly die. And by slowly, I mean fairly quickly. <laughs> And I got this wheel, which I didn't get a chance to try out, so I'm kind of excited. I was told about it just, uh, uh, was it Saturday night? So, oh my god, okay, holy shit. Okay, it's a really heavy wheel. And, oh, okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know why you'd ever use this as a weapon, but, and, oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this, this is, this is, this might be the best thing in the game. I, I want it to rev up. Please. No, okay. <laughs> okay, this is pretty spectacular. Kind of like, uh, the bone wheel in Dark Souls. But, but not. I kind of love it. So, anyways, we're kind of at another uh, point here where we could go many different ways, but I am not sure where to go next. Uh, we did start this chalice, which I didn't finish for some reason. Maybe I might have hit a wall there where it was maybe too tough or something. Strong possibility. I might actually just go through and remove some of these chalices because I have quite a few. I could probably, like, start with a chalice, maybe, and then go hunt around for where I'm supposed to go next. Maybe. Sort of. It's one of those things I'm kind of... What keeps happening, I find, in in this game, even more than what ha it happened in Dark Souls, is I end up in situations where it's like, where do I go? Because I feel like I've been everywheres, but it's clearly I've been missing, like, little things. I shouldn't say that, because, like, the castle, uh, Kanehurst, I have no idea how I should have typically found that. Uh, I guess technically it's more of, like, I missed, uh, that cavern off of that one village, which... <laughs> I missed that one little corner of the cave, which had a door, which took me to a place I, where I'd get an item I needed. Um... So, I have no idea where I should even start tonight. Anyway, so, basically with the comments or whatever, uh, I decided I'd play both sides of, uh, sides of it, and so I joined one, got their badge, and then joined the other one and got their badge. So, that was something. <laughs> uh, alright, let's, let's go into the chalice and see if we can find something to, uh, blow up. 
or get blown up, probably. I'm probably going to get wrecked. I really should finish chalices if I start them. Picking them up, like, even a few days later, it's like, what am I doing? Why was I here? Where? Oh, shoot, I remember what this is. Oh, this was... Yeah, okay, I remember why I dropped this one. <laughs> I don't think... I don't know if this is a root chalice, I can't remember. I don't think it is, okay. It doesn't say root down there. But, uh... <laughs> this chalice was kind of a problem. It really hit... Like, have a room with, uh... Some... Actually, maybe... Oh, I think I opened it. I opened the boss gate, but I didn't go fight the boss. That's what it was. Jeez. I don't know if I'm ready to fight a boss right here the gate. I think what it was, was I was kind of low on healing items by the end of... Uh, by the end of this chalice, and it was, like, one of those situations where, uh... It's like, if I was to continue streaming, I'd have to stream probably another, like... You know, 20-30 minutes of just getting items, and it's like, ah, uh, it was late, so... I figured I'd just leave it till the next day. Oh, uh, that worked out well. Yeah, this is the room I was thinking of. Oh, I thought there was somebody shooting fire at me, it's just a torch on the wall. Uh... Yeah, it was those two guys, and of course it's all poison, so it's fighting two very strong enemies in a pool of poison. Super unappealing. And then the switch is guarded by one of those, uh, the ladies that have the two, like, flaming axes, and they're absolutely crazy. And, uh, yeah, that wasn't super appealing to fight either. So this might be the last fight in this chalice. Why didn't I do this? I should have just tried to polish it off that night. Alright, let's see what we got. It's gonna be a surprise. It's probably gonna be really strong. Oh, what is it? Um, okay. Oh, okay, this is new. Whoa, whoa, this is a crossbow. Oh, shit. Oh, this is kind of like the other guy. Ooh. Ooh, that is quite a teleport. Ooh, that's pretty trippy, actually. Okay. Ow! Whoa. Try and regain a little bit. Oh, shit. I like his fire crossbow. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so, yeah, since the last time I streamed, uh, E3's started, so that's something. Actually, I better focus on this fight, because... I have a feeling it's probably just enter hard mode. I better let my stamina recoup a little bit. Ooh. Oh, shit, okay, multiple bolts. Wow, those actually do quite a bit of damage. Dang! <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, that's fairly new. Okay. Well, that wasn't really bad at all. <laughs> what? Really? I got a gem- I got a trophy for that? <laughs> that guy didn't seem special at all. <laughs> he just seemed really old. Really? Oh! I know what that trophy's for. That's for, uh... Uh, rank 15 blood gem. I was like, hey, White. Uh, but yeah, so E3 started. Uh, I watched Nintendo World Championships. I kind of skipped the middle of it last night to do a little bit of streaming, which I shouldn't have done, but... Uh, but anyway, so I caught the rest of the Nintendo World Championships afterwards, and it was pretty good. I was actually surprised. There was, like, so much room for it to be, like really awkward and bad and horrible and it actually turned out to be pretty good. I was very surprised. Alright, let's check out what this blood gem we got was. Uh, I'm hoping it's one of these, actually. Okay, that's the wrong way. Seven... 
9, 10, 14. So, not quite. Uh, maybe one of these. 15, there we go. So what do we got? So adds physical attack, 7.5. Arcane attack. Physical attack. Uh, well, it's kind of interesting. Not, not spectacular. It's so I get a little bit of an attack boost out of it, but but I just kind of get some additional properties. So I guess it's something I could equip that. I, I still don't know what Arcane Haze is, but we'll probably figure that out sooner or later. Anyway, so that was pretty good. Boss fight went really well. But yeah, Nintendo World Championships was good. Uh, I f and it's funny too, because I know like they were really kind of pushing uh, Splatoon and Mario Kart and some of the other games early on in it, and it was like... Splatoon actually wasn't that good to watch on it, and it has the problem that I find all first-person shooters have when I watch them, when I'm, like, watching a team versus a team. It's like, you're only seeing it from one person's perspective, so I feel like I'm missing out so much. Uh, I'll just leave that. Uh, we could probably put in a new chalice, I suppose. I'm trying to think of what ones I've done. It's not very good. Okay, lower hinter tome. Uh, okay, we got a root chalice. I think I skipped it because I didn't have sage wrists. Okay. So we could probably do the root chalice. We maybe do. Just can't do that one yet. New ritual blood four. Uh, I could do this one. It'd be at least something to kind of do. Uh, yeah, nobody's surprised with that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's check out this dungeon. Um, but, uh, yeah, Splatoon wasn't really that good to watch. Then they had another one, what was it called? I think it was like Blast Ball or something. It's a new 3DS game, which very clearly is using, uh, the Metroid... I even forget the name of what the portable one was for the DS. Metroid Prime... What was it? I can't remember. I gotta look that up, actually. Metroid Prime Hunters, that's what it was. I was thinking Echoes, but I'm like, that's the second game, isn't it? It's the one I didn't like. <laughs> I was not a fan of uh, the second Metroid Prime game. I thought it was actually a really bad game by comparison to the first. Um, but, yeah, it was kind of different looking. I don't know if they really were selling it from what they showed there. I mean, I understand where Nintendo was coming from. It was kind of a good idea in theory to put their new game as one of the... You know, put a new IP is one of the games, but I don't know. Just wasn't working for me. Uh, so we'll just explore around here. Put our lantern. Let's go up the ladder first. But, uh, no, I don't think Blast Ball was working for me too much. It just didn't. I like it in theory, but I feel like I need more information to know if it's something I'm really into. Because it's like, you know, piloting robots and, you know, shooting guns and, I guess, playing soccer. <laughs> you know, that's kind of cool. I think I, I think that that has potential to be something I'm interested in. Uh, but I don't know. It's one of those things that's like, I need robot customization. I need that, and I need, like, all kinds of other stuff. Ooh. Ooh, jeez. Okay, this isn't actually that bad. I guess it's it's a root chalice from uh, the very first 
enter uh, Tomb Challenge, <laughs> Challenge Chalice. Uh, also, I'm max, I'm max bullets that happened last stream, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be seeing that notification a lot. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the chat, Mordwart. Ow, jeez, I looked away, and now I'm getting killed. <laughs> That's okay. Six pebbles, hot damn. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. Uh, good seeing you again. Uh, I'm mostly just talking about the Nintendo World Championship from last night, watching it. It was interesting, it was fun. I feel like the... <laughs> I feel like the worst part of it, though, and, like, most awkward part of it was, uh... Uh, ooh, I kind of saw him throw it, but I was like, maybe I can just walk around it. Um, I feel like the worst part was the part with, uh, Reggie and, uh, Hungrybox. Oh, shit. That was, it was very, very awkward. It's like, no, don't call out, don't call out Reggie. <laughs> that, that's... No. Oh shit! One of these guys. Ugh. Okay. This is clearly like an area I'm a little bit over level because the last time I fought one of those, it really wrecked me, and I was like, "Whoa." Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Hopefully, get some cool treasure. Bolt paper. Not that great. It's probably fine. It's just not something I'm super interested in. More bullets. I need to shoot my gun more. That's what that's telling me. When I have 600 bullets. And... Yeah. I need to shoot the gun. Pew pew! Um... Wait a minute. Does it not pick up the bullets? It does not pick up the bullets. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a little awkward, <laughs> to say the least. It's one of those things that it's like, if it, if it was someone younger calling Reggie out, it would have been entertaining. But it was one of those things. that's like, no, no, buddy, you're you know, you should know better. This is, you know. Oh, jeez. You're you're old enough to know that you know Reggie. Reggie's busy running Nintendo. He's not going to be a great Smash Brothers player. And Reggie held up to his word. He he sucked at Smash Brothers. <laughs> to, to be completely fair, though, to be completely fair, he did get one KO, which I was that was good on him. <laughs> good on Reggie. Uh, oops. There we go. Well, fell down there. Uh, but yeah. So going back to the, like the earlier games, then uh, Blast Ball. I'm unsure about if it has like. Robot customization, I could see being into it, uh, but hard to say if that'll be the case. I feel like it's leaning a little bit too hard on the Metroid Hunters engine, and it might it might need a little bit more uh, content to kind of flesh it out. Maybe we'll see it. It's just an empty room. I guess I did get the chest, but this, I don't see any doorways here. Oh, no, it's just a wall. Okay. Uh, but might have, need a little bit more to kind of flesh it out to really sell the idea. Hopefully, we'll be hearing more about it at E3. It's one of those things that I could see it at the moment if it was like a digital title at like a fairly reduced price. I could see being maybe interested, but uh, I don't know. I think Nintendo's going to be trying to push it as a bigger title than that. So hopefully, there's more to it than what was shown. But once again, like I said, it has the same problem I have with all uh, first-person shooter type games when they're uh, streamed. You're not really getting a full sense of what's going on because you're only seeing it from one person's perspective, right? There's clearly a doorway somewhere I'm missing. Or there's like a doorway I'm missing somewhere here. It's just... Where is it? Uh, do, 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 do. Something there. Uh, they did the Zelda race. Uh, I thought that was really good. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was potentially one of the highlights of the whole thing. Just because it was clearly people, you know, going in, they know their stuff. And, you know, it was interesting to see people do uh, race th through to the first Triforce piece. 
I thought it was really fun. It was actually surprisingly short. Okay. I think I think this is all that's in this section. Also, yeah, holy shit. Uh Earthbound uh beginnings. I can't believe it. After like twenty five years. It only took twenty five years. <laughs> I remember reading Nintendo Power as like a little kid and seeing Earthbound, uh, or well, basically Earthbound at that time. Uh, I was like, "What? When's this? You know?" And it never came out. And I was like, "What? Why didn't it ever come out?" So it was. Uh, so we going this way. Um, so it was crazy that 25 years later, like. 9,454 days or something like that later <laughs> it comes out on the Wii U which is insane uh, I've of course played the game before uh, of course is uh, Earthbound Zero uh, which actually I kind of prefer the name Earthbound Zero I think it has kind of a nice ring to it Beginnings sounds a little bit uh, it's like kind of contemporary it's like I don't know it makes sense, it makes sense, but it's also at the same time, it's like, it doesn't feel... I guess I just know it is Zero for so long. Zero, just, you know, Mother 1, of course, so. But, anyways, it was good that it got released yesterday. Uh, Zelda Race was good, the Super Metroid Race was really good, thoroughly enjoyed it. It wasn't quite as enjoyable, just because people died out really quickly in it, so it only came down to, like, two people, and it was... It wasn't super close. Oh, shit. Got a trap somewhere. Yeah, I should probably go to a doctor about that. <laughs> Arrow just sticking right out of my chest. What is shooting at me? Oh, jeez. These are really blending in with the walls. That one practically was in a wall. These ones must just shoot if you're in front of them. So I should heal, because that actually took a good chunk of health out of me. Uh, the Metroid race was really good, though. Uh, not quite as good, in my opinion, as the Zelda race. Balloon fight, which is amazing. Oh my god. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? It's really funny, because I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet, but... Ooh. Ooh. There we go. I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, but, uh, what's this? Oh, it's a dog. Okay. Ooh. I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, but, uh, here, ba last November, me, Keed, and, uh, Skaz. Although Skaz wasn't really, he was just sort of sitting in on it. Uh, we did, uh, what, what I've been calling the NES 20, which is we played 20 NES games back to back, just randomly selected ones, and uh, coincidentally, the very last game we played was Balloon Fight. <laughs> so I was like, "What? That's that's crazy." It it makes a good surprise game. I like Balloon Fight, uh, but anyway, so they played the balloon uh, balloon trip mode, and uh, people did pretty good. I was actually quite surprised. Is it? Actually, I was surprised people had such a rough time at the gate, because, actually, that was a pretty straightforward area. There wasn't really much to it. Uh, but, no, uh, there's some, you know, people start getting the hang of it and going the distance, so that was pretty cool. So I guess we're straight to the boss, then. This area definitely feels a little bit on the, like, lower end of uh, difficulty. I can kind of, I feel a little bit overleveled right now. But, uh, was, I noticed that Aaron had actually a pretty good score. He had a good score going. He, he, like, at the very end when he actually died, though, at, uh, like, 10k or 11k, I was like, whoa, that was actually a really hard setup he was faced with. Because the whole, it was a whole bunch of spikes, and they're all kind of moving at a pretty equal pace. And, yeah, I know I would have had a lot of trouble with that setup, too. Uh, we got anything here? I think there's probably dogs down there. Yeah, there's dogs down there. That's no good. But, uh, it was a pretty good watch. Something somewhere died. I guess it could just drop down. Oh, I was about to say. I didn't even see the ladder. 
Okay, some rats. But, uh, so, yeah, it was a pretty good watch. And then, uh, of course, they had uh, Mario Kart, another one where I, I didn't find it quite as watchable as I'd hoped it would be. Uh, I like the idea, though, doing, you know, sort of three versus three, and, you know, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, I thought it was pretty good as far as how they set it up, so that was pretty cool. I've often thought about running a uh, Mario Kart thing here and streaming it. I think it would be fun. Okay, let's take care of these dogs. We'll kind of take it slow, though. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Also, just because I just noticed this in this room, I know it's a randomly generated area. That totally feels like a Dark Souls reference. <laughs> this is a little bonfire in the middle of a thing. I guess it isn't really. If it had, like, a sword in it. I kind of thought it had a sword in it at first. Uh, fire! It's a Dark Souls reference, of course. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Man, they still do pretty good damage. Ooh, big chest. Yeah, he's pretty cool, though. Pardon me. Uh, no, Ryu's pretty neat. Uh, although I don't... I've played a fair amount of Street Fighter. I'm not particularly good at it, but I actually found that like doing his input moves on the A button was very viable. Uh, it is doing it on a stick, which is like a different feel than, of course, what I'm used to, but... Uh, but it was very viable. I could see people who've played a lot of Street Fighter, it would be very natural for them to play Ryu and be able to do the uh, traditional inputs. Uh, so, uh, but I think he's actually probably pretty good. They've already discovered two infinities with him, so. <laughs> uh, though one is character specific, which is just on Donkey Kong and Charizard. Uh, the other one, I don't know if it's character specific or not, but it will... No, no, Ryu's pretty damn good, I think. He's... To me, he's got, like, the punch of Little Mac, but he's a lot more viable. So... And he has a range game, and he has answers for people playing a range. Super, super good. A lot of characters don't have both. <laughs> His range game probably won't beat out other characters that are more range-focused. Uh, but what he does have and what he can do is really solid, so. Alright, let's see what this boss is. What will it be? Undead giant. Okay, we've fought. We've fought this. Ow. As a regular enemy before. Ow. That really hurt. In fact, last stream I was fighting a whole bunch of them as regular enemies, which... Let's recoup our stamina a little bit, just back up. There we go. Easy. That guy was easier than the actual regular enemies that I fought. Ooh. Oh, that's a lantern. Uh, the regular enemy version that I fought in the other chalice. Uh, do you know how to do the heavy special? You mean the traditional inputs? Do you know how to do the heavy special? 
Like, you mean, like, the orange Hadouken stuff? Yep, I do. Uh, that's what I'm referring to when I mean, like, the traditional inputs on the A button. Uh, yeah, I can do them. Uh, like I was saying, I don't have a, like, huge background in Street Fighter. I have played it a lot, but it's one of those things I was never good at it, so... But, like, for the inputs, like, the inputs are fine for me. The only one that gives me a little bit of trouble is doing, uh, Shoryuken, which... It's always... I find every game you kind of have a different, slightly different feel for sh uh, Shoryukens or DPs. Uh, there's always a little bit, because... Uh, always a little bit of a different feel. Where this is being done on a uh, GameCube stick, it feels a little bit strange. Uh, I will say this, uh, for Ryu, I think turning tap jump off is going to be really important, just because it'll prevent you from doing your inputs too high on the control stick and getting jumps instead. So, I think that kind of also helps. Uh, because a lot of fighting games, like on the GameCube, ooh, uh, that was often a problem. And even stuff like the Dreamcast and uh, Sega Saturn, like, part of the problem was, was when you were playing, yeah. Uh, for the orange Hadouken, I forget what the actual name of it is. It is, uh, it would be down back, or down, or it would be left, down back, down, uh, forward, right, right. So, or because I kind of grew up when it came to fighting games, I've learned fighting games on Blaze Blue. So I'm used to number terminology, so it would be 4, 1, 2, 3, 6, A, which, ooh, oddly, <laughs> odd, uh, blood tinge jam. Uh, so, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty easy going. Uh, sure you can see the one there kind of troublesome for me personally. Yep, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. In fact, even Nintendo's reveal explains the moves are pretty good. Uh, but Ryu's pretty good, uh, his true Shoryuken, uh, with the input, uh, <laughs> it is one of the only moves in the game at the moment that can actually beat a counter after you trigger it, which is awesome, I think that's wonderful. A lot of people are like, oh no, that's, like, so bad, but that's exactly, <laughs> that's, like, kind of how that move is supposed to work. The counters are kind of too good in Smash Brothers, anyway, so it's good to see something that you know makes people check check themselves. Yeah, you can definitely check it on the direct. Uh, but no, Ryu, I think is going to be really good. Uh, personally, I think he'll easily be like top ten. It's a, like no question. He's got he's got so much versatility. Uh, versatility, he has good power, he just, he's all around really good, so. The only thing he's kind of weak on is recovery, but Tatsumaki kind of gives him a good chunk of horizontal recovery, so. So it's something that I think Ryu's going to be really solid. It'll be interesting to see, uh, see him at tournaments. Alright, so I'm uh, yeah, I picked him. Uh, I picked up uh, Lucas and Ryu yesterday. I skipped Roy. I'm not really a big fan of Roy, so if the time comes that I have somebody over that wants to play Roy, I'll just buy him then. Did they go in a big circle? Did they go in a big circle? Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, I've been hearing Roy's really good though. Like from what I've heard, people are saying that his uh, that Roy is kind of OP at the moment, which pff, fair enough. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that will make it. It would be good for people who want to you know pick up Roy and you know feel like they're having you know some additional success with the character. He'll probably get you know some nerfs here and there. To be completely fair though, like Marth Lucina aren't super high tier, so. It's something that, uh... Okay. Let's see if I can make sense of this. Okay, I went in here, I opened the chest. Let's look around for doors. I kind of I kind of got into the conversation as, like... 
Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely Mort. Uh, uh, he just has so much versatility that uh, I can't see him being anything less than top 10. He's really solid. I feel like the characters... Man, I, I can't even picture, like... He's just so all-around good. Oh, there you go. There you go, Som. Like, what I was saying, though, was... I feel like Martha and Lucina are kind of... They're not spectacular in 4. Like, they're definitely good. They're definitely very viable, but they're not, you know... They're not, like, the tier that Marth is typically at. But from the sounds of it, it sounds like Roy might be at that tier. He might be up there to, you know, old school Marth level, which, you know, that's fair. It's something that, uh, it's good. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Roy personally, but it's mostly just because, uh, I'm not really a huge Fire Emblem fan, uh, and on top of that, it's like... He wasn't a character I was really good with. I've never been good with Marth, Lucina, Roy, any of the characters like that. So, any of the characters of that style. Yeah, they just aren't what they were in Melee. And even what they were in uh, Brawl, to a degree. Ah. Jeez, I have 600 pebbles. Okay, that's good to know. Man, now I'm just making a mess. <laughs> okay, um... Oops. Let's go over here and get whatever this is. Bullets. I need to shoot my gun more. I have too many bullets. Hmm. But, no, uh... I debated about playing Smash Brothers tonight, but here's kind of what I came down to. I'll be away all next week, so I won't really have uh, have the ability to play. Uh, oh, <laughs> are you serious? The chest is like in my way. I can't get in. There's another door over there. <laughs> the chest is blocking the door. I can't go through there. Um, honestly, I think I uh, reuse, like, traditional inputs. Uh, those are going to pay, like, anyone who invests their time into learning those inputs, it is going to pay in spades. It is, they are so good. Shoryuken is almost completely unpunishable if you do a true Shoryuken. Uh, but, like, the only way you can really punish it is after the sort of peak of the jump and as he's falling down, because he almost recovers instantly on the ground. It's really, really good. He'd have to, like, whiff it right in front of you for you to punish it, I think. So. Uh, but he he's just really, really good as a whole. I think uh, I'm looking really forward to watching some tournament footage uh, with him being played, because it's going to be really interesting. Uh, but yeah, go rolling back to the Nintendo World Championship, uh, it was fun watch, though. Uh, Super Mario Maker looks amazing. I'm actually really hyped for it. It might be... Okay. Okay, we got one of these. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Let's just spend that. Uh, Super Mario Maker looks amazing. I'm actually looking really forward to it. Uh, definitely, definitely a game I will be streaming because I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, it's going to be really silly, but it's also going to be really fun. I can see... Uh, I can see just like making a stream of going through other people's levels. Oh, oh, totally, like, it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite that, well, that's true, it was, it, 
that's something that's something that I think we'll probably see quite a bit of actually. Ah uh, man, I can't wait. Mario Maker is gonna be really fun. And I guess it comes out I think September 9th or 10th. Uh, what else? What else was announced? Oh yeah, in the Smash Brothers section of uh, of Nintendo World Championship, it was all right. It was you know it was playing Smash Brothers as Smash Brothers, so to speak, uh, which is completely fair. I don't think Nintendo would want to run it any other way, which I was kind of glad to see. I'm glad to see they they didn't make it into you know one v one brackets, which I don't think would have been as interesting to watch, personally. Uh, like, I don't mind watching 1v1s, but it's something that they are very time-consuming. And it's one thing if you focus on Smash Brothers, and that's the fighting game you're playing, and you're going in and you're playing that game. It's another thing if it's a part of a bigger competition. I think it fit a bigger competition by having it uh, just, you know, uh, free-for-all. Alright, let's see what we got here. Another boss. Okay. Ooh, okay. Eh, this guy's not that bad. Ow. And I'm almost dead. <laughs> there we go. I think the jump attacks are probably the easiest ones to counter with the gun. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Okay, got a gem. Not really a whole lot on that floor, actually. Uh, but yeah, Super Mario Maker, I think, was... It was definitely one of the highlights. I think it was between it and the Zelda race, which were my favorite part. The Zelda race was just really, really classy. So, I can respect that. It was a simple concept, everybody kind of knew what they were going in and doing, and, you know, everybody had a good approach to it. Some people died, but, you know, it was still it was still fairly close. Alright, well, I'll catch you later, Mort. Thanks for stopping by again. It was uh, good seeing you. But, uh... Oh my goodness. It was, it was fun, it was fun. And I was glad to see that it actually turned out well, because... Like I was saying at the very first of the stream here, there was so much room for it to be really awkward or really bad, and Nintendo did an okay job. Uh, it was part of the elimination bracket. I think it was the very first like underground game, as they were calling them. Uh, so it was like the first loser bracket game where they played basically through uh, from Zelda from the start of the game to the first uh, Triforce piece, and it was just really fun. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Uh, but definitely, definitely recommend it as a watch. Also, welcome to the chats, guys. Uh, really good watch. Yeah, I don't know if he just hopped in or not, but we've been having a pretty good conversation about uh, Ryu and Smash Brothers. I I think he's going to be extremely good. He just is extreme. Did I, I didn't get that chest on the other floor. Now that I think about it. I better go back and get that. Oh, good, Sage Wrists. I need those. And I need them in large quantities. I better go back. Because that was actually... If it was just a little chest, I wouldn't have cared. But it was actually a big chest. Alright. Uh, but, man, Ryu's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to watching some tournament footage of him. The thing is, though, as much as I like him, and as much as I like the fact that he's in the game, uh, I don't know if it's a character for me, personally. I could definitely see throwing him in from time to time, just to, you know, have fun. But, uh... What is it? I don't know, I don't know if he's personally a character for me. Part of my problem is when it comes to, like, characters in Smash Brothers, I tend to... Oh, jeez, I missed a door there, too. Okay, I'm glad I came back this way, then. <laughs> Uh, part of my problem is, is with Smash Brothers, I have a lot of uh, character loyalty, so I hate not playing the character I want to play. Uh, 
so... And, like... Like, I do play Ryu a little bit in Street Fighter. He is one of the characters... He's probably the character I feel most confident with, admittedly. Even though he's the character I've probably... Out of the characters I do play, he's probably the character I spent the least time with. He's just got a very, like, fundamental approach. He has all the tools he needs. It's just about how you approach using them. Which is kind of... When it comes to characters, that's the type of characters I like. Is characters that have... Uh, tools. You know? They, they don't... They don't get matchups that are particularly bad for them because they usually have an all-round set of tools to work with. So, okay, it's not this way. Jeez, I don't know how to get to that chest. I suppose I need to go up, maybe. I think I need to be on that bridge. So let's go in through here. Okay, it looks like we need to get up onto that walkway. But, uh... Is there a dead end? It's just dark enough, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> uh... But, yeah, so, uh, with Smash Brother, or with Street Fighter, I tend to... The character I wanted to play was Makoto, but... <sighs> she's... She's in a weird spot where she's like just kind of outside my range of uh the thing is is like it depends on like what you'd really consider a gimmick or you know uh an interesting aspect having i find having a good tool set really pays off in the long run uh if you have a specific gimmick because like to me like Tao is a character that has a very specific gimmick. That she rolls with. She doesn't have tools for everything. She can't do everything. Uh, but to be fair, to be completely fair, though, I feel like in Blaze Blue, most characters were given a variety of things to work with. So oftentimes, oftentimes you don't feel as caught without something as you do in Street Fighter. Uh, in Street Fighter, I find like not having like a fireball or something like that, you know. It definitely puts pressure on you, because suddenly, you know, if you're up against a fireball character, you don't have something you can just trade fireballs with, like, uh, a good example would be, like, because, of course, we will play uh, Capcom vs. SNK2 a fair amount, uh, like with Mai, how she can throw the fan. The fan's not a good fi- it's not a particularly great fireball, but it's just something you can throw out there and potentially, you know, you can stop someone else's fireball game by, you know, bringing up your own, uh, bring out you know, the fans to a degree. Uh, I find I find having a lot of tools makes a character very versatile, and overall, I feel like that's a good thing. Uh, like, for... Uh, I don't know, in Blaze Blue, it was... Blaze Blue was a bit different, though, because there was so much, like, when characters, like, carved out kind of their own direction, but it was so strongly... Uh, Every character was so different by such a large contrast that, you know, if you could play into your character's strengths enough, you can make them, you can make any character feel, you know, decent and flexible. Uh, it's something that, uh, I never felt that way with Street Fighter, though. Street Fighter, when I go into it, it's like, if I'm, like, with Makoto, I felt like where I was missing... You know, I didn't have anything to really answer fireballs with. I didn't have anything to answer uh, wake-up game with. It really just, like, it really hurts. <laughs> it's like, uh Because, you know, then it's like two, two very specific play styles that you can't... That you're kind of in a tough spot with. I have no idea how to get to that chest. It's like right there, and it must be a side door over this way, maybe. Because I think this is the exit, though, isn't it? I'm so lost right now. Door? Okay, let's go through this way. Let's see if we can find it. I think it must be this way. Um, the thing is, is like with Makoto, uh, if somebody decides to play a fireball game, she has like literally no answer. She just has to work her way in. She has to... She just has to push her way in. Uh, and with... Um, 
I thought those guys were like waiting there for me. Uh, and if like somebody's putting, you know, pushing a really heavy like wake up game on you, you literally just have to block correct or dash the right way. That is what you have to do. There is no, you know, mix up for you to wake up into. Like you know, maybe I'll wake up sure you can. You know, that at least puts the person that you're fighting. They have to be like on point. They have to, you know. They can't just do something every time because there's always that chance that you're gonna throw something out there. So it makes them, it puts some guesswork into the game, I guess, is what it does. Uh, and I feel like that's really important. And when a character can't do that, it it ooh, that was a really bad hit. Uh, I feel like it's really important to uh, have that flexibility to have at least some answer for each situation. Uh, but yeah, so like going back to Smash Brothers, so that's really what Ryu feels like. Is it feels like he's very versatile. And that's not even a super common problem in Smash Brothers. Like mostly because there's not really. I shouldn't say that. It was that there is there's actually a fairly strong wake up game in Smash Brothers. Uh, but it's one of those things that I find characters aren't usually strictly built around a wake-up game, simply because there's no high-low, so... But, um... But it's something that, uh... Yeah, I think Ryu just has a lot of potential. I think he'll go really far. Though, like, going back to Street Fighter, like... Makoto I struggle with because of that. I have no idea how to get to that chest. I literally, like... I haven't even seen where the other door is that I could go into to come out that other side. Maybe it's at the very first of this dungeon? No, that's the elevator. So, I would have been in here. This would have been the first room. This would have been the second. So, I think I might have got uh, RNG'd by the... <laughs> by the random dungeon layout. They gave me a chest in front of a door. But also, like, even going back to, like, Jury, for example, who was another character I was very interested in playing. Ooh, great. Man, this is really unfortunate. I feel like if I was even to get through there, I might get stuck. Oh, jeez, okay, I can actually pitch it through there pretty good. That's okay, because I can shoot him. <laughs> I'm gonna try... <laughs> Trying really hard to get through there. I feel like I'd get on the other side and get stuck, though. If only I had some way to... I have no idea. Uh... I find gimmicky characters, uh, I'm trying to think of a character that I'd say is a gimmicky character. I think Alferte would be a gimmicky character in uh, Street Fighter. I find, like, it's hard to me, like, personally, I even tried Alferte, he was actually the first character I tried in Vanilla. Uh, I find the problem with them is, you're kind of playing a guessing game with your opponent, and... It's hard to have consist like heavy consistency with a guessing game, I think. Some people are really good at it, but I just personally am not. What is it? Because like uh, Panda Colors, for example, uh, you know that was kind of the fundamental like uh, like core of the way he you know plays a lot of characters is he puts you in a situation where you have to guess between sort of a fifty fifty. You know, it's either gonna be high, low, or throw, and it's like this is really, really tough to deal with. And if you're really good at something like that, like you can, you know, you can clean up. But it's another thing if you come across somebody who's quite good at answering that. I think because then you're on the spot of my, you know, what I'm doing. It doesn't open from this side. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get to that chest and then open that door. And find out that it was, you know, only opens from one side. That would have been bad.
Oh, I apparently have a bunch of messages. Like, a lot of messages. Um, just two seconds. I better find the... I better find who's spawning these enemies. Maybe down here? Yep. There we go. Okay, I better check these messages, because I actually have quite a few of them. Alright, there we go. Uh, let me see. I don't know, like, thinking about it, though, I don't know if Tao's, like... She's sort of... She's sort of gimmicky, but not really, because you do really have to play her straight. Uh, you really do have to play her straight, like... Uh, I suppose, like, your typical gimmicky character would be, like, a character like... I mean... There's kind of, like... Or silver bullets. Because uh, the thing is, like, Tau doesn't have a lot of... I don't know. To me, to me, it's always felt that you had to play her really straight, because it's just a heavy emphasis on, you know, doing your combos, getting the setup into a launcher, doing your air combo. Uh, it was tough to do, like, a mix-up into it, because... The mix up was so bad for Tao. It it was really rough. If you miss one, she's gonna lose like upwards to half her health. It's really rough. <laughs> okay, so we hit the switch. I don't remember seeing a big chest here, but but I'm kind of having a hard time navigating this area. Hmm. Oh, it's apparently a new Steven Universe, so for anybody who's watching that. Okay, so this is the next boss gate. There might be a door beyond the boss gate, which will probably be where our big chest is. Maybe. No, it looks like it's straight to the boss gate. Or boss. Huh. So we'll go fight the boss, I guess. Might as well. We're right here. I only have ten... I have ten vials, so... It's not particularly good, but... We'll see what we can do. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Bloodstar Beast. This is not a boss you typically want to fight. Okay. Luckily, I do have quite a bit of practice against this guy, but... Better get our antidotes out now. Okay. Oh, I tried. I'm trying to get him to charge me, just because it's usually a good thing. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Not particularly big damage, but... Okay, he's he's taking some pretty bad damage. We'll heal though. Ugh, attacking the wrong way. Oop shit. Did that thing that I shouldn't be doing, which is 
which is trying to bait out. Uh, ooh, shit! Oh, damn it! Which is trying to bait out the left palm. Shit! Come on! Do charge, charge attack. There we go. Up. I just realized I had the wrong gun. There we go. Command grab. <laughs> oh, he's done. Nice. Whew. <laughs> this isn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. Also, welcome to the chat. Uh, why all the names taken? <laughs> That's a great name. I I approve. All all the names are taken. Somebody's taking all the names. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know I missed the chest here. I'm almost positive I did. So I'll go back here just a little bit and see if I can find it. Yeah, no, uh, Blood Starved Beast is really... <laughs> Pardon me, it's not my, uh... Boss of choice to fight. Not only is he aggressive, but they felt the need that he should poison you really easily. I'm like, ugh. Okay, I missed a whole door. That's There's my problem. Oh, jeez. Let's back up. Ooh. Weird trade, but I want it, so... Can't complain. I don't know what the lantern guys do. I guess just, like, alert everybody in the room. Oh. Okay. Another scythe guy. Oh, awesome. Good to have you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've been having... Uh, traffic's been pretty good on stream lately. I've been quite pleased about that. I think streaming some newer games has helped. Because for a while there I was like... I'm like, man. I wish I could get a little bit more traffic coming in on stream. Uh... But part of the problem, I think, was was I, I stream a lot of old games, and people aren't necessarily eager to watch them as much, I guess. But grabbing uh, grabbing Bloodborne and grabbing uh, even Splatoon has been quite good for, you know, uh, people stopping by and checking it out. It's been fun. Okay. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. Much appreciate it, you know. Uh, I usually stream weekdays, so that's something, so stop in anytime. Uh, also, all my streams are available on YouTube, so that's also a thing. <laughs> but, yeah, awesome. Good to have you. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> guy's hooking me. Ow. That hurts. That's no good. I know there's some interest in me streaming Smash Brothers again tonight. Uh, I don't think I will, though. Uh, I guess this is... I don't know if I finished my thought when I was talking about it earlier, but uh, I'm going to be away all next week, so... Uh, I figure I should maybe make some progress in Bloodborne versus uh, playing Smash Brothers. Especially where I don't have anything super specific I'm doing in Smash Brothers, it would mostly just be doing uh, classic mode. Probably classic mode with a little bit of, uh, there we go, there's our chest. Oh jeez, we don't want to fight two of these. Uh, 
Oh, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> those, those guys usually don't go in, go down too easy. Okay, frenzy cold blood. Not really a good item, from what I understand, but yay! I got one. So, hmm. let's just drop down here for a second. Oh, geez, that was actually a really high fall. I didn't realize. Whoa. Um, uh oh. That's a cannon. Somewhere. I think I see it. Okay. Uh, I'll head this way. I get the big chest, so that's like the most important part. Okay, I've been here. Climb up here. Hey, welcome to the chat, Luke. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I uh I do all the streams artwork work myself. And I've been trying to make more stream layouts that are uh that have artwork on them. Just because uh I feel like it I feel like it adds to the stream. It's just sometimes time consuming because, you know, it's like, oh, I just want to pop in X game and stream, and it's like, oh, I, should I draw a little picture for it? Hmm. <laughs> have to have to weigh it out. Okay, I haven't been in this room apparently. If I was, I missed that one guy. Hey, a big bell. Seems unusual. Okay. Hmm. So smash those. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's a pretty empty room actually. Uh, where does this go? Okay. This. Oh, this is interesting. It's a walkway that leads over top of the like, sort of the outside the dungeon halls. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before, or at least I haven't noticed one before. Uh. But anyway, so aside from uh, aside from that, I'll be away all next week. So unfortunately, there won't be any streaming next week. But uh, hopefully, I'll have some interesting stuff to talk about the week after. I'll be uh, hanging out at my good friend uh, Josh's place uh, or High Roller. Uh, sorry, Luke. I'm doing solo run. It's my first playthrough, so. Uh, in general, I I don't really play these games in co-op. Sorry about that. I I know I know it is something that I've had a lot of people interested in it. Oh, you know what? These kids just remind me of the cages in Dark Souls and Sun's Fortress. They're a lot bigger, but they remind me of them. Sorry about that, Luke. <laughs> Uh Okay, let's Okay, let's just get out of here. We got to the big chest, so that's the important part. If they were gonna give us anything important, it would be in that. And they gave us frenzy cold blood. 